pretty common question or maybe more like an answer to a question in the Discord may mention something called a timer loop. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do one of those and what can you actually use them for. Hi hi, it's our friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here again with a new Vinian Basics tutorial. So have you ever been in the Discord writing a question and then got an, an answer that mentions a timer loop? And then you're like, what is that? So timer loop is basically a loop of timers that starts themselves again, creating basically a loop that will just keep restarting itself and doing something with that loop. It's really simple to do. And today I'm going to show you how to make one and I'm going to also show a very simple example of why you might want to use that. So let's get started, shall we? So how do you create a timer loop and uh, what can you do with it? Let's open up the node graph and look a little bit into what it could possibly be. So a timer loop is basically a timer that starts itself and does something on specific intervals. So it is basically a function that keeps repeating. In some cases, it could run almost every single frame. And in some cases, it doesn't need to run so often. To create a timer loop, we would need to find the application start node. So basically, this node is called when you start Vinion. If you want the timer loop to start at the start of the application, then this is usually a good way to start it. Next, we want to link this into timer nodes. So we want to start a timer. We should give this loop a name. So let's call it test loop. Like so. And then we can specify how often this specific loop runs. We could put this to 1000, which is one second. And now we connect this. And now we're going to also add the timer callback node. Like so. And we're going to use the same text. So test loop. And now when this timer triggers, it needs to start itself. So we connect this timer also to the start timer node. And now we have a simple loop done. If you want to start this without having to restart Vinion first, you can just signal the application start node, like so. Now in the background, this loop is running. Now we could test this by adding some action that it actually does. So let's try something simple. We could just add a draw item node here that draws an apple every time this loop runs. So we could connect it there. And now every second an apple is thrown. Of course, this is not really a usable example. There is no point making this kind of timer loop, but you could quite often, this could be used to create a check for something. Let's say you want to check a plant shape, whether a certain plant shape is on, and then you want to do something or if you want to check your bone rotations or position and make them do something. It can be used for various kinds of uh, logic, usually more advanced logic, but this topic still comes up very, very often in the Discord. For example, one thing you could do with a loop is to use the audio processing. So we could, for example, use the volume filter node to detect our audio levels and do something whenever the system detects that we are talking. Uh, to do this, we should probably make our timer work a little bit quicker. So let's drop it to 10 milliseconds. This will basically run every frame if you're running at 60 FPS. So what should we do? Let's find the volume filter node. Like so. And first of all, we need to select the microphone we are using. So in my case, I'm going to select this one. And then whenever you're speaking, you can see the numbers change here. Select such a number that it is high enough to be actually your 
talking and not static noise. So in this case, let's put it to 0 0.3, like so. Now we will connect this node and then we will do something. Let's throw an apple whenever we are talking. And now whenever we talk, apples will be flying. And then when we stop talking, the apples stop flying, like so. Of course, this is just an example. You can do all kinds of things with this timer loop system. I hope today's tutorial was useful for you. And remember that the timer loop is in fact one of the most important features in Vinian. It is what carries the whole application. It allows you to create this way more advanced node graphs like the arms ways and uh, all kinds of other reactive things. So feel free to play around with this now that you know how to do it. Anyway, if you have any questions on how to do something in Vinian and would like it covered during these Vinian basic tutorials, do write it in the comment section down below. I will check them later on for sure. Anyway, see you next time, cuties. Bye bye.